So let's start. So, um, does anyone, has anyone heard of Family Constellations? Do you know what it is? Yeah. <laughs> Something to do, some do um, It was a form of therapy created by a renowned psychotherapist. Um, <laughs> and the exit here just to know. Um, by, so it's um, a form of therapy created by a renowned psychotherapist Bert Hellinger in Germany. And um, it's a form of like it's always done in a circle, but the way that I really like to describe it is that if you've got if you've got a headache and you go to a doctor, they treat your head. If you go to a holistic therapist, maybe um, an acupuncturist, homeopath, energist, um, they'll treat the whole being. And if you go to a family constellator, they will treat your whole family system. And so it's just one dimension out, and it really helps when, let's say, there are hard to shift EFT stubborn issues that you can then look at the bigger picture and what was going on in, in, in earlier generations. So. What happens is that disruptions in the family system can then cause disturbances that affect us. And these kind of disruptions might be things like war, famine, family secrets, um, early or tragic death, um, and sometimes if, if family members have been excluded. So we all have like things like that that are early on in our family, often we don't know how they impact our own personal lives. And the theory is that if any of these kind of circumstances have taken place and they haven't been fully acknowledged and dealt with appropriately in earlier generations, they can be passed down through the family system, through the collective consciousness, into the present generation. And they can manifest in maybe challenging relationships or all different emotional problems and challenging <coughs> beliefs that don't serve us. Um, so let's say, for example, a grandmother who um, survives a war, but all her other family members die, and she never speaks about it, it's too painful, and her children learn that they shouldn't speak about it either. And then they have a grandchild, and the grandchild manifests um, unexplained anxiety and panic attacks. So a resolution for that could be the realisation that those, the anxiety and panic attacks come from the fact that the, um, at the grandmother le level it hasn't been acknowledged and it hasn't been dealt with. But once the grandchild can actually do, do the healing and just acknowledge what happened, so the, it's like the grandchild might be carrying the, the guilt, the survivor's guilt, the unbearable grief, but once that's acknowledged, then they, she, he, the grandchild child can break that cycle of pain, the family pain that's in the family. So that's 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 the kind of thing that it could help with. So I just want to describe what what a family constellation looks like in in a workshop environment. Now, usually we'd be sitting in a nice circle, and um, it would just be one circle, <laughs> and um, there'd be one issue holder, but there can be several issue holders, but one at a time. And so there's one issue holder, which is the person who actually brings the problem. And then the um, constellator asks the issue holder to choose people from the circle to represent different family members or different aspects of their problem. And then those representatives, the people <coughs> from the circle, are asked to stand in um, various points in the room. And then different things happen. So it can be either um, the constellator will use either movement of the people or various healing sentences, which I'll go into later as well. Um, and I obviously incorporate EFT into that too. Um, now, when the um, representatives are standing in the circle, they are asked what emotions they're feeling and what body sensations. And, and they're not trying to think, oh yes, I'm the grandmother, so I must be feeling all this grief, and therefore I must be feeling this. So it's not a mind-based thing at all. It's literally what, it's, it's asking them to come out of their mind, just be in their body and notice what's, what feelings are arising for them. And all these feelings that 
are, are being experienced are coming from what in constellation terms is called the knowing field. And the way that I, I like to describe it, the first time that I, I was a, a representative in, in a constellation, what I noticed, I felt like I was stepping into this soup bowl. And I felt like every time someone, another representative, was moving, I could feel those ripples, and I could feel myself, myself feeling different and changing how I felt just from other people moving in, in, that, in that soup bowl. But um, Rupert Sheldrake, who is um, a well-known biologist, he calls it a morphic field. And he says that it's, it contains a built-in memory. And he says that in that, in that morphic field, the hidden or the unknown, th unknown things in, in a family can start to be revealed. And by acknowledging these unknown things, the, the healing can happen. So not only can um, constellations happen in a workshop environment, but I also work with them in person. And the way that I do that is um, I use these belts to, and I ask my client, if it's in person, to pick different belts to represent different people in the constellation. So it might be, they might put one here and say one there. So let's, I'll say, you know, pick one to represent you and one to represent your mum. And then they literally, they just stand on them and they say, okay, how am I feeling? What, what, what am I noticing? And then I might do some tapping on what's coming up for them. And then, then, then they might stand here and what's going on for I'm standing here. And then again, some more tapping, they'd be doing that. Welcome, come and have a seat. I, if you want to sit there, I'm kind of standing over there. So, so that, that's the way that I use it in a a one to one session. So um, and then if I'm using if I'm doing a Skype session, what I do is I use an, a form of EFT and constellations which was created by um, a woman in the States called Deborah Donzelinger and I don't know if I'm pronouncing her surname correct, but she's yes, created she something thank you. Um, and she's created something called um, family energetics and in, so in a Skype session, what, what I would do is I'd say, okay, so um, there's this issue going on for you, so I invite you to step into the space of your choosing, and then put yourself in that space, so it could be visualising or imagining or getting a sense, and then let's say she's working with her mum and her dad, okay, where would your mum be in relationship to you, and where would your dad be in relationship to you, and then whatever's coming up for each of those people would do some tapping for each of those people and then see, see where it unfolds. And I did um, a, se a Skype session a while ago that was actually um, videoed and I've got it on my blog if you wanted to watch it because then you can see what a session looks like. And in this session, the, my client came to me because she had um, a situation with her, her three-year-old son where she felt she had this inappropriate anger and she wanted to work on that. And through doing the session for her, we, we realised that in her family there are a lot of men who were army men and in the war, and they hadn't been able to express their feelings. And so they, um, she was, on, on some level she was holding all the unexpressed emotion that they were feeling. By doing this little process, she was able to release that. And, and then she just stopped being angry with her son. She sent, she sent me this really lo lovely little note. She said, I had a moment with my son where I think I would have been angry with him a week ago, but this time I found myself defending him, protecting him, as he let a cascade of typical three-year-old emotion wash over him, rather than being impatient or angry with him. It felt really good, and his little face afterwards looking at me with such love was really special. A little later, he tracked me down across the house saying, I have something very important to say to you, Mummy. I love you from top to bottom. It was so sweet. I, I really felt he'd observed a change in me and was responding to it. If, this ha if, this ha if I have no other benefits from EFT and your priceless session, this little moment was worth everything. Mm -hmm. So that's really, that was a really sweet kind of way of like seeing how it works. Um, <coughs> So the way that I, I use this whole family constellation idea with the FT 
again, if I've got a stubborn issue in, in EFT, then I'll look at the ancestral picture and see what's going on. Although, actually, I don't make the stubborn issues. I always look at ancestral <laughs> pictures because it's just so fascinating anyway. Um, and also, if I'm kind of working more on constellation level, I find that EFT really softens the, the constellations because um, when a few people came in just before, they said, oh, there are going to be lots of tears in here. And um, it sounds like you know, uh, family constellations has a bit of a reputation for being very difficult. And yes, personally, I have experienced, um, especially when I've had constellations on myself, very, very painful um, moments. But with EFT, everything can be just softer and more gentle and much easier. And I also find that, so, so there are healing sentences that one uses. So let's say you've got, um, the representative of a mum here and a representative of a daughter here, then um, you, you get them to say different things to each other. So for example, let's say um, there's a daughter who whose mum hasn't been very present for her and she, um, she didn't get what she needed really to just step into her life fully. So something that, you, that a daughter might say, that daughter might say to her mum is thank you for what you gave me and it wasn't enough. Now that can be quite painful for some daughters to say to their mothers because um, it might um, they might feel guilty that you know they know that their mum's done the best they could with the resources they had but but they don't want to kind of cause any more pain on their mums. So then I just literally do some tapping on um, I, I can't say this I can't say that statement and just you know that's too difficult that's too difficult to say. Um, I feel guilty saying it, I feel sad saying it, I don't want it to be that way, whatever's coming up for them. And then um, just and then I'll test it out again. So how do you feel about saying that? Because constellation is, is really about acknowledging what is. And the more we can acknowledge what is, even if it wasn't what we wanted and it's just too painful, the more we can acknowledge it and allow it to be there, the more we can just step into our life and take life and and, and in, and enjoy life fully. Um, so, um, here are some <coughs> examples of what people have said have happened as a result of doing the constellation with the FT. Um, and this happened like a couple of weeks ago, this one. Um, last week I was an issue holder, and my word, this incredible process succeeded in shifting a belief that was so deeply held that I didn't even realise it was there. The intensity of the experience was very gentle and with it, an atmosphere of safety so that the emotions were allowed to flow. If, it wasn't, if that wasn't powerful enough, the knock-on effect to family members, not even in the room with us, was phenomenal. And then another one um, also, I, I just can't believe this. So many changes with my mother happened after I did the constellation yesterday. Or maybe I can, amazing, really amazing. So, you know, just people's experiences of not how they shifted, but how the people around them shifted. So the thing I really want to focus on today with you and give you an opportunity to explore is the idea that, um, that there's a flow of love that comes from one generation to the next. And if we are able to fully allow that flow of love to infuse every cell and atom and molecule of our beings, we, could, we can be fully present here, we can have more bliss and more joy and more love in our lives. But when there's been a break in that flow of love, so for the women it's the mother line, for the men it's the father line, when there's been a break in that flow of love, it can be really difficult. And so I, I wanted to invite you to do this little process. Um, it's just kind of like a, a, we'll start with a very short, a little meditation. Um, so what I, what I'd like you to do is to be tapping while while we're doing this, and I don't want you to do anything that doesn't feel comfortable. So just do it if you if you feel comfortable doing this. If you don't, then, then don't. So with the tapping, um, I just suggest um, you. I, I like to just tap on the finger points. So <coughs> people to tap on the finger points and the side of the hand and the gamut point. If you want to tap anywhere else, just feel free to just tap in the points that feel right to you. Now, so this, this process is gonna connect us with our, so for men, the father line, for women, the mother line. 
This work, this is going to define whether you know your mum or dad or not, whether you've been adopted, um, whether you have a good relationship or whether you don't have a good relationship. It, it, it will work whatever. And if it feels too challenging and you don't want to do it, that's absolutely fine. Um, but I, I invite you also to just be curious about what comes up for you because what you find comes up for you will give you really good material for you to then go home and tap and, and start releasing so that you can strengthen this flow of love. Um, what else do I want to say? So another thing to bear in mind that when I'm working, I'm going to say this while we're doing meditation, but I want to say it before the meditation as well, so that is that we're really connecting with the higher selves of our mother, father, grandmother, grandfather. So the higher self, if you're not familiar with that term, the, the kind of the part of every human being that, that is all good. Um, I don't know if that if that makes sense or whether I can is there anyone who I'm just gonna use the word higher self anyway, so hopefully you can make of that what you want. Um, so, let um, either lower or close your eyes and tap on your fingers, whatever feels right. I invite you now to imagine, visualize, or get a sense that as you're sitting here, behind you is your mother if you're a woman and your father if you're a man. And I invite you to imagine, visualize, or get a sense that the highest part of your mother or father is standing behind you and putting their hands on your shoulders. And I invite you to allow yourself to lean back and imagine receiving love, support, nourishment and wisdom from the highest level of your parent into every cell, every atom, every molecule of your whole entire being. And I invite you now to imagine, visualize, or get a sense that behind your mother or father is your grandmother or grandfather. The highest level of their being present behind your mother or father and they are putting their hands on your mother or father's shoulder, and they too are sending love, support, nourishment, and wisdom from the highest level of their being into your mother or father and into you. And I invite you to be open to the possibility of receiving, being able to receive that love, that support, that nourishment and that wisdom. And behind your grandmother or grandfather is your great grandmother or your great grandfather. And they too are sending love, support, nourishment and wisdom from the highest level of their being into your great into your grandmother or grandfather, into your mother or father and into you. And I invite you to be open to the possibility of receiving that love, that support, that nourishment, and that wisdom. And behind your great-grandmother or father is their parent, and behind their parent is their parent, and behind their parent is their parent, and behind their parent is their parent. And behind my parent is the second and to meet a million in line with mothers and fathers since the beginning of time, sending you love, support, nourishment, and wisdom from the highest level of our beings, from parent to child, parent to child, parent to child. And your great grandparents, and your grandparents, and your parents, and into every cell, every atom, every molecule, your whole entire being. 
And when you're ready, invite you to put your hands in the center of your chest, your heart chakra. And if it feels right, say the word well, transform and take a deep breath. Would anyone like to share the good, the bad, or the ugly of doing that process? And I can imagine it must have been challenging for some of you as well. And if it was challenging for you, if there, if there were places that you couldn't connect to, then that's, that's the area that you can really start um, working on. You're tapping on the feelings that are arising, or doing, or what quality would you need in order to feel better about that, and then infusing that positivity into those parts of you. as well, but I, 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 I tend to work with women and I really focus very strongly on strengthening the mother line, so that, that's kind of my focus, and I was, I was asking a few other constellators whether they actually work with um, the woman and father line or the, or the man and the mother line, and I think it's really important to be able to receive you know, if you're a man and father line, and if you're, but, but sometimes that's not possible for whatever reason there's been challenges, then I think, then, then you do the other, then you do the other one. And there's another process as well, which is beautiful, where you can have, like, your mum and dad behind you, and their mum and dad behind them, so you've got, kind of got this triangle mm. of all the parents behind, so that's, that's another thing that you can do. So what I thought would be nice is <coughs> if anyone would like to volunteer, then what we can do is we can invite someone to um, pick someone from the um, group to represent their mom. Uh, well, it depends if it's a man or woman, um, but their parent and their grandparent and their great grandparent and their great great grandparent and. We can just set something up in the space and it'd be really interesting to just have a little look together as a group and see what we can see and, and maybe we'll do some tapping, I, I don't know. And if there's time then we'll do another little process where everyone gets a go. But So, do, would anyone like to volunteer? Great, okay, thank you. So would you like to choose someone to represent your mum? And of course, before you ask, if um, if Jackie chooses anyone who doesn't want to take part, please don't feel that it's um, a rejection on any level or that you feel bad. It's absolutely fine to say no. So, with that said, <laughs> would you like to choose someone to represent you? And would you like to choose someone to represent your... Um, if we can kind of make a little bit of space, that would be great. <laughs> so if I could ask you to stand up here, uh, come, come here, um, just there, and could we have a mum behind, you know, yeah, and put your hands on her shoulder, and could we have grandma behind? And great grandma, anticipating grandma, great grandma, and um, let's just start with that and see how that feels. So just 
Allowing yourself, notice your feet on the ground, coming into your body. <laughs> so anyone here wouldn't mind just going to the toilet to get some tissues? Um, can I have some? Thank you. Thank you. I apologise to Alex that there were some tears. I know mean, he's not here. Oh, don't worry, I cried for anything. <laughs> <laughs> he would get embarrassed, but just cool. <laughs> It's really interesting because energetically, I'm most drawn to you. I just, I just feel like there's a really strong presence here. I don't know what's coming up for you. I feel as though I'm honouring my great grandmother. You're honouring your great grandmother. Yes. So the one, like four generations. Well, I'm being the great grandmother. Oh, and being... I feel as though I'm honouring my great grandmother in that okay. position. Beautiful. Mm. I, I, I don't know. I, I just think you've got the most incredible great grandmother, like mm -hmm. really powerful energy. Uh, I, I haven't kind of like really explored what's going on here, but the energy here is just mm -hmm. something magical. I, do you have a sense of that at all? I do. doing the process I'm probably want to be a little bit more exploring here with this what's going on but I'll just leave it here for a moment. I'm going to find my diamonds and I feel much stronger since tracking them back. Mm -hmm. And before I thought there was a kind of shakiness mm -hmm. here, movement, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the sway of the and um, so that's really important information. Grandma feels better than my son. so beautiful. I feel like these people actually want to be How is that for you? Now? So how, how, sorry, how would it be for you to be back in the Thank <laughs> you. 
So this is the way that I, I, I work a lot, and I work like this particularly also with mothers, so that they can then um, step in, bring that energy into their children. Do you, do you have children? Mm -hmm. Would you like to pick um, some people to represent your children? Does it have to be the same sex that they are? Uh, it would be nice. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, so why don't you strapping lads just stand in front of your mum and one with just um yeah both of you next to each other but in front of mum. Do, do you want to face your mum actually? She would be horrified if you realised. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
great. Thank you. Thank you all so much. <laughs> spiritual energy mm -hmm. within you or in your family. Carol. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The eldest, I mean. Uh, <laughs> yeah. mother. And I said, you know, maybe I should really ask, what is this power? Uh, do you have someone in your family or you're connected to someone? You are through EFT. I found one. myself. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you're really solid. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I got healed somewhere as well. Mm -hmm. I got healed mm -hmm. Thank you. 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 Thank Sudden, things have gone kind of a bit pear shaped. Mm -hmm. Sorry about this. <laughs> <laughs> and so, this would then be possibly, it could be circumstances of life, a war, or, you know. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we didn't go into story no. here. If I was doing a whole process, I'd probably want to do a lot of tapping with the mum. Um, yeah, I'd want to really explore what was going on there and do a lot more healing to just really so that the love could flow from every generation down. But we kind of just did a little mini taster, but hopefully it's material for Jackie. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Yeah, because um, yeah, it's interesting because there was the very, very strong matriarch somehow, and then we didn't explore so much what was with grandma, but then there was something definitely there that, that there was some kind of interruption, should we say, and then we, we could have explored that and done a constellation around that to really resource mum so that mum could resource daughter. So, um, <coughs> uh, yeah. Thank you. so um, I don't know, I feel like a lot of energy is going to come up in the room and I, I, I don't know whether to just mm -hmm move on to something else or whether I need to create a space for anyone who needs to say anything at this point. Do you, does anyone does anyone need to say anything or should I just I've keep going? Two questions. Yeah. One is can you do this process on your own? Well with the visualization. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And the other one is uh, is there any healing for those who take on the part of the different family members? Because I do feel actually quite uh, relieved and I just feel there's been this weight taken off my shoulders because it's like just watching Jackie and then all the women behind her as I said it was uncannily very similar to, to my family they come from a matriarchal society and my great grandma is still alive so um, I could just feel all this links in, on the chain just being strengthened and um, when you said what you said, I actually felt it was my mother speaking directly to me. So I found that quite magical and special. I think you've kind of answered your own question. <laughs> 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 Should I just be there standing with you? <laughs> yeah, um, I can only um, speak from personal experience. When I am a representative, I get massive healing. Um, there's no coincidence, I don't believe. You always get picked for um, some weird and wacky, powerful reason, and magic tends to happen. Um, that's all I would say. Can I okay. just say that it's George, isn't it? Um, it is, yes. So I've been um, an issue holder, and I've been a representative, mm -hmm. and I've been just in the room, and on all occasions, I've got such a lot of benefit from it. 
even there was, it, was, I think it was the second time I ever did a family conservation and I was just sitting there and it just echoed so much of my own life and what was going through and I just like mm -hmm. my whole, you know, the whole time but it was just it was like the floodgates had just opened so you always get something from it even just as an observer always yeah, yeah thank you so I've got a little process that we can do if, if, if you feel like it and it's a process that you can do either in pairs or by yourself um, and the idea is that literally you um, you can either do it with a you can choose a felt and or you can just decide you're going to do it in pairs so if you choose a felt you, you take a felt and this felt is going to represent if your mum if you're a woman or your dad if you're of it, it, your, your dad if you're a man or you can just do it in pairs and one person will be your mum and one person will be you and then you just decide okay I'll have this one for my mum and I'm going to put my mum here and so, so that, that she, it means she's facing this way basically and it feels like I'm actually here so how do I feel with my mum over there so a bit anxious, so then I'll do a bit of tapping, a bit of anxiety, tune in, how do I feel now? Well actually I feel like I want to actually look at her. Okay, so how do I feel now? I feel like she's not really there for me, okay, she's not really there for me, whatever form of tapping you want. Okay, how do I feel now? I feel like I want her to see me, I feel like she's not seeing me. Okay, more tapping. So you can just start exploring your relationship with, with, with your parent, and it doesn't have to be with your mum, it could be with your dad, it could be, you could actually, you don't have to do something as personal as parents, you could, you could just do it with a friend or a sibling or a partner, whatever you want, but I thought it's just an interesting exercise that you could try and do. So, and you can choose, you can either do it with a partner, with a partner here, or you could do it with a felt if you don't fancy doing it with a partner. So, um... Can I ask you something? Yeah. <clears throat> I might be going slightly off a tangent, but I want to ask. Yeah. Could you use one of the colours to, for example, represent your relationship with money? Your relationship with Absolutely. You can do it with an aspect or a, or, or a problem. I right. definitely, definitely. So, um, should we give it a go? Insights, questions? I thought it was very powerful because I wasn't particularly thinking anything was going to come up. And then, like, standing next to my mother, I thought, oh, actually, yeah, I completely don't feel supported. And then, then, then lots of things came up, and then I, then I thought, well, I'll just see what's going on with her, then. What's, what's this? And then standing in her and feeling her rage and her anger and all sorts of jealousy and all these things that I didn't really know were there, but kind of made sense. And so just working on, on all of that was really liberating. And, you know, just standing by a piece of felt, you wouldn't have expected that. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, there was just loads of stuff I explored. And, you know, that's brilliant that you could actually do that at home. You know, put something on the floor, there it actually is. Mm -hmm. and, and then all the stuff that comes up from it. It's extremely powerful. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Any questions? Any challenges come up? I I'd love to do, you know the exercise we did at the beginning with the mother line? Yes. I'd like to do that for somebody distantly. Is that possible? Is it? Yeah, like anything's possible. Anything's possible, yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we're going to come to a close in a minute. So I just want to say that if anyone's interested, I do run family constellation and EFT workshops. Um, you should have this fly, but if you haven't, there are a few here along with my cards. Um, so, and if you want any more information, then you know you can come and see me or Peter, my husband. Mm. Oh yeah, and oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm running um, a retreat for women where I'm going to be doing a lot of um, EFT and family constellations as well. That's coming up in November. Again, the information should be in your pack. And um, there's others here as well. So, um, where are you based? In Kings Langley in Hertfordshire. So, um, yeah, you've been really great. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.